Hello, I'm ABX Sleeker and welcome back to this video. So today we're going to be talking about llamas for an entire video and there's actually a good reason to do so. I mean, that's not going to stop me, but today I wanted to talk about llamas in Tidal Update 54 because one of the interesting things about console updates is whenever an update comes out with brand new features, these brand new features are immediately textured in every single texture pack. The reason for that is because the same people that make the game make the texture packs and this means that you actually get a bunch of brand new textures whenever any brand new feature comes out. So with the llamas, you get not only three variants of llamas, but you get 16 variants for the different things they can wear, the different colors of carpet and I figured in today's video why not check out what all of these different variants look like in every single texture pack because that means we actually get 300 different llama textures with this update and I wanted to see what all of them do look like and I assume all of you do too so hopefully you do all enjoy the video like it if you do because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like these all texture pack videos they take a bit more time but I think they're kind of fun and just as a quick spoiler before we say anything else in the city texture pack they are cars that's the reason I wanted to see the rest of these uh, car llamas what more do you need in the world so yeah um, also let me know if you want to see uh, these for every single type of uh, you know like mob in the game or every single Single, uh, yeah, I guess feature in this update because uh, that's something I've done for previous updates But with that said, let's just get straight into the llamas and here you can see 16 colors of llama uh, And also by the way three colors you get white you get beige and you get brown And then we get 16 colors for each of the types of carpet you can put on them And because each of these colors of carpet has quite an interesting pattern like look the purple one has enderman on it Isn't that great? Uh, the green one's a creeper. Uh, look at the pink one over there. Isn't that a cute little llama? Uh, th th there's, there's lots of really interesting patterns going on here as well as just you know nice looking ones The bandits probably one of my favorites and uh, this is the reason why I think it'd be so interesting that check it out in all the different texture packs. So let's go now into the first texture pack, which I think is Adventure Time actually, and see what they've done with the llamas. That's right, all of these videos now have a new first, uh, you know, texture pack shop, and that is Adventure Time. So this comes with the Adventure Time mashup pack, and as you can see, it doesn't actually change llamas much at all, besides giving them these, like, I guess, you could call them Adventure Time re eyes. They, they look very cartoony, I kind of like them. Uh, and there you can see all three types of llamas, not too different in color, not too different in the texture, but then we look at the ones of the uh, skins on, and most of them look pretty much the same, right? Like, okay, well, this is, uh, you know, the bandit llama. Looks like a bandit, just a slightly different thing. Then there's this one over here, which I believe has entirely changed the color of the llama. Again, they're meant to be white, so I guess it must be the carpet doing so. We'll quickly check, actually, if that is the case. Like, does that... No, okay, it's just uh, I have a great llama here somehow. So that's fascinating by itself, but <laughs> is that meant to be the case? Uh, but then as well as having a gray llama just over here, which I guess might be a glitch, but you know what, let's, let's ignore that, just to say that's a gray llama for now. Uh, put the carpet back on him. So as you can see, this is the first one over here. Looks kind of interesting. The blue one, got like a Windows logo thing going on, but you know, if you look at the rest of them, uh, they look pretty much the same. A few of the mobs have changed from their like Minecraft logo things to just being a generic pattern. The Gryffindor llama is a little bit less Gryffindory. And I think actually, you know what, for a first one, you know, maybe uh, these are Adventure Time references, but I think they're just like a bit more toned down patterns, except the pink one, which is even more rainbow, so that's kind of great. So if you want to, if you want a uh, llama with more like a traditional saddle, uh, then you've got like the orange one over there. If you like your bandit looking a bit more high tech, then he's wearing <laughs> more high tech stuff there. And if you don't like your creeper on your green llamas, then that's kind of covered. But otherwise, I don't think this is the text pack for llamas. That's right, llamas in Adventure Time are not a recommendation you're going to get from Toy Cat. So let's move on from here to the next one. Who's ready for edible llamas? I think I am. So yeah, this is the llamas in the candy texture pack. So the candy texture pack is one I'm never like too amazed by, but I think llamas, <laughs> I think llamas are gonna be something pretty great. So we've got chocolate llamas. I mean, it's just a solid chocolate llama. We've got maybe like a white chocolate cake llama. I think this is a cake llama. And then we've got, I'm not even sure what this is, but like what 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 even happened there? I'm not sure, but I, I'm, I'm kind of down with it, like red nose llama. Uh, but yeah, with that said, uh, let's look at the 16 colors of llama and let's see what they look like when they get a bit cakey. So as you can see, they all get very slightly differently <laughs> edible. So I think this is a blueberry cheesecake llama. <laughs> oh, it totally is. Oh my God. Okay, blue che blueberry cheesecake llama, pretty good. Um, this is just like, maybe just a regular cake llama, like with cherries on the top. Um, this is a very bland cheesecake, so can't recommend the white llama, unless you like your bland cheesecake. Um, yellow is maybe, I, I think they all look a bit like cheesecakes actually. Yeah, that could be the case, because this looks like uh, purple, but then they're like different like intensity of cheesecake maybe. I'm not even sure, I just like what's going on here. This llama, as you can see, is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with this one? It's it's hard to be sure, but actually I, I kind of like most of these like I, I think the pink ones lost its kind of charm I think a lot of these have lost like something about them But if we look at most of them, they actually look kind of great like look at brown that like covers in the chocolate I, I like it if you want to make edible llamas This is the texture pack for you and I actually think they're they're done really well Like I I, I want to have a chocolate llama that I can eat the, the chocolate off that sounds weird actually So maybe we should just move straight on to the next texture pack, which I believe is city the one I'm really looking forward to showing off I was mistaken, it is the cartoon texture pack, but this is one that I also quite like. I think it's got, you know, a lot of like good style for other things, but do the llamas work well? So first of all, as you can see, <laughs> 
do the llamas work well? I think that's an immediate yes, right? But yeah, as you can see, llamas are looking pretty great by themselves. We've got three different colors of llamas looking pretty much the same. Uh, you know, actually the, the tail's pretty different and so is like the, the texture on the wall. It's, it's pretty great in general, but then the eyes, I think, make that. But let's look at each of the... <laughs> oh, they all wear sunglasses. This is great. So yeah, the cartoon texture pack, as you can see, they've taken the llamas and they figured, you know what? Wouldn't it be great if llamas had glasses on? So it looks like every type of llama has a different type of glasses. The red llama or the Gryffindor llama now it has just like nerdy glasses and a bow tie. Isn't that the best thing? The <laughs> Looking around here, this is all pretty great actually. Like the green one's got like a tie on because it's a business llama. Uh, this the, bla the black llama is just a bit too cool for school it seems. Uh, and I honestly, I actually kind of like this. I think if you're gonna have llamas and you're gonna have them in the cartoon text pack, it's great that they all have so much personality. Like you can like, you know, pr prescribe the cool ones and the business ones and all that sort of stuff. And I think that's kind of great. I think they're all vaguely similar, but you know, they kind of match in a way in a certain sense. Um, but yeah, besides being similar, like you can see like it's the same black and, you know, it's the same patch te uh, texture on quite a few of these. Besides being vaguely the same, which, you know, isn't too big of a deal in my opinion, uh, they actually all look amazing and I really love them. this. This might be the best one so far, I think. You know, so glasses, uh, sorry, llamas with glasses, what more do you need in the world? I'm, <laughs> I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. So let's move on uh, next to the Chinese mythology uh, mashup pack. I don't actually know what Chinese llamas look like. Do they have llamas in China? I mean, probably in a zoo or something, but we'll find out for sure what they'd look like in the mythology. So the great thing about the Chinese Mythology mashup pack, as you can see, my llama, my giant one, looks pretty normal up there. But then we look at the ones to the right here, and we see that, oh yeah, no, 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 normal llamas are not what they're going for here. So I, these these two, again, they look vaguely normal. You could see them. And then for some reason, the white llama is just this giant red firecracker. I mean, it's like a Chinese dragon, right? So have you ever wanted a Chinese dragon llama? Guess what? You can do that. And uh, yeah, you can see the, honestly, it's the color of the llama that stands out way more than the carpet you put on them. So wild llamas, at least one third of them, way more interesting in this texture pack. So that's something that to be said about that. So yeah, looking around, you can see I, that's all my eye can be drawn to, just the red llama, like, look at this crazy thing. So, uh, yeah, if we look at the other llamas, though, and you can be like, okay, so we got some chocolate llamas. That's, all, you know, like, the it, again, it's, it's not actually the thing itself, it's changing. I think the patterns, you know, they, they fit Chinese, like, they, they kind of blend in the Chinese thing, but none of them are too appealing to me. I like this one, this is a regal one. Uh, I think this is kind of good, but I don't think any of the other ones are, like, too eye-catchy compared to that. So, yeah, and th this texture pack is amazing for default llamas, like, jeez, what's going on there? But I think the patterns themselves, none of them have caught my eye or made me too amazed by them. So, let's move on next to the one I'm I'm most excited about, which is the Chinese, uh, sorry, it's the city texture pack. That's right, we're going to see llamas as cars, and this is the best thing. So, let's go there now. Okay, so now we're here in the city texture pack. The city texture pack. I, you, you know, let's just let's just focus on it. Like, oh yeah, white, yellow. It's interesting, but let's talk about the llamas themselves because when you put any color of uh, you know uh, carpet on top of the llama, you turn them into a different type of car. This is the most amazing thing because I guess the idea is like, oh yeah, you lead the cars around a city in like a little chain like traffic, and I love it. I, I love any like uh, you know I get I love any implementation of this, and I think it's just the best idea. Like someone came up with this and someone said, yep, that's a thing. So now we have uh, you know sixteen different varieties of car that you can drive around your city or you can sit on and you can ride. So I, this doesn't actually make much sense. This isn't how you ride cars in Minecraft, but it tells it's, it's, it's how you want to ride cars and that's the best thing. So yeah, looking around the rest of them, as you can see, uh, we, we don't just have like normal cars. Like this is a, I guess this is a truck of some form and this is like a, just bright orange car and stuff. But if you look at some of them, we get really quite amazing designs. Like this one is a police car. This is a lorry. So the neck turns into like a front. <laughs> Isn't that the best? Or oh, sorry, it's, I believe it's called a truck in America. Lorry is a British term, fun fact. Uh, but yeah, we got, uh, we got a police car, we got a lorry, we got a, uh, you know, just other types of car. I think there's a fire engine in the middle there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a fire engine you can ride. Have you ever wanted to ride a fire engine in Minecraft? Guess what? Now possible. And this is just the best thing in the world, in my opinion. Like there are, there are car llamas for some reason, and I am I'm so okay with the idea. It's just, <laughs> it's such a, it's such a wacky one, and I, I, I love that this exists, and it's really quite a cool thing. Cars in Minecraft, it's a thing you could, you know, for everyone who's been asking for cars in Minecraft, you now have them. You just have to use the city texture pack, and you just have to, you know, have llamas and stuff. So that's the best thing. Let's move on from this though to the next uh, feature, which is actually, uh, sorry, the next texture pack, which I'm not sure what it is yet. Oh, it was Fallout, as it so turns out. So Fallout is one of my favorite game series, and I guess. 
logically the llamas are going to be pretty irradiated and we can see that right over there. It seems like there's actually four colors of llama by the way and I made a mistake thinking there was three. That's why some were gray. So my bad on that particular front. <laughs> I I don't know why I assumed there was only three. But anyway, point being is we got our we got our three uh, four colors of llama. We've got the uh, pretty irradiated one there. We got the also pretty patchy one there. And then we've got a gold llama. For some reason, you know, the irra irradiation turns llamas gold. It's a well-known fact, right? So, uh, yeah, we've also got these ones, which are just super out there. These are zombie llamas, basically. So that's that's what I like about this texture pack most, I think, first of all, is we have zombie llamas. What more do you need in the world? I mean, not not very much, right? But yeah, so we got four zombie llamas right here. And uh, then we've also got all of the different colors of path on them. And I think this is another texture pack where the colors of the llamas themselves overshadows the type of, uh, you know, the thing you put on them by a massive margin and it's it's I think deliberately they've only put on very little amounts for the cloth so this one for instance you can see how the uh, the carpet is only a neck thing I and mean, it doesn't actually make much sense because you can't ride the neck thing. But still, I actually quite like it. It's got like a bandana llama. Isn't that the cutest? It looks like the uh, the dog almost, right? Yeah, it, it looks like, um, what's his name? It's not dog meat. Uh, but you know, the dog you actually start with and fall out. You, it looks like him a lot. Like, oh, it's a dog llama. And it doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it. Uh, then we look at the rest of them over here. This is a pretty high-tech llama. This is, uh, yeah, actually, I, 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 again, I, I feel like I really like the... Um, Wait, we got another bandana one? Does that change the eyes or is that just creepy eyes regardless? It is. So yeah, I, I think these all have a lot less like, you know, I guess uh, visibility, which is good. I mean, in the apocalypse, you don't have well-made carpets for your llamas, but I think it just then means that the uh, the texture itself overshadows it. And that's not a problem. I think zombie llamas are great. I just think it means that you can't see them so well. And it's easy, it's harder to make judgment. Except on this one, this is like a real thing. So if you want to have like a real place to sit, then we got the purple. Is that llama? Yeah, we got the purple llama. Everything else, just have a default llama, honestly. And it's just, it's, it's fine regardless of what carpet you put on there, which is kind of cool if you ask me. So let's move on from this to the next texture pack. It's the fantasy texture pack. And I love the fantasy texture pack because it's just one of the best ones in the game. And because everything gets a little bit gold and a little bit regal, it's good stuff. But let's first of all look at the llamas. Three colors over here. We got white, we got beige, we got brown, and then we got this other color over here, which I guess is just a different one. I mean, you, I can't see the difference personally, but anyway, I, I guess some texture packs might have the different color. Or maybe I'm just imagining like, you, I, I can't see two different colors of beige or something like that. Point being though, that's not our point for today's video. Our point is to look at each of the 16 colors and to show you which ones are quite notable. So so we got the, uh, again, you can see, uh, the thing about this texture pack is it turns everything gold. And you can see every single one of these llama coatings has some amount of gold in it besides the pink one, the green one, and I think that might be it actually. Oh, the orange one and the brown one. So we got a few about them, but besides that, it's like, oh no, again, even then, you can see like super uh, big patterns. I think this one's a little bit annoying because it's not centered. Like, I think someone made a slight mistake there. That's gonna bug me forever now, so. Okay, anyone from the 4G art department watching this? You, you missed something by a single pixel, and it really hurts to look at. But besides that, <laughs> you know, things that won't be fixed, presumably, at some point. If we look around the rest of these, you can see how we got some pretty nice llamas going on here. We got some, I really like this one in particular. This is a very, again, regal llama. Um, I think, <laughs> I, I think in general, yeah, they've all got the kind of same similar feel, uh, similar feel of like, yes, I will feel very fancy as I ride my red llama into the distance or whatever. And I think that's a great thing to be said about this texture pack. So uh, yeah, I, I think llamas all look vaguely similar and they're all pretty good and they're pretty regal. It's not actually the best in terms of variety, but it is a good texture pack regard. You know, I, I like the texture pack. I like the llamas, look at their eyes, that's cute enough. That's all I need uh, to say about this. So let's move on to the next texture pack. It's the festive mashup pack slash texture pack. And uh, even though it's, you know, June as I record this and June as it goes up, I still think it's quite interesting that, you know, we, what, what about six months from now? What about when we're celebrating Christmas? We need to know how festive our llamas will be. And that's why this texture pack's here. So we can look at the, what, what even is this llama? We can look at the very, this actually looks like it has carpet on already just by its default texture. And then we've got the gingerbread slash Christmas tree llama, which I kind of like too. So yeah, as you can see, very varietatious, varietatious is totally a word llamas. And uh, then we look at the skins they put on them, the 16 different colors. And we can see that mostly not too much going on here. There's a few that poke out to me, uh, most notably the presents like, ah, oh, look, it's a, it's a gift llama. Everyone wanted to gift on a llama to make them not hate you and not like put a pumpkin on your head and bind it there. And then good news, you got the festive llama for you. Ever wanted to have, actually, is this the same one? No, it's slightly different. But yeah, uh, you can see there's lots of present llamas than the other ones. In fact, yeah, like half of these are present llamas. Then the rest of them, I just kind of like, oh yeah, this is a nice blanket on the llama. So I guess it's good. I think it's good that you can gift llamas in this update. You know, that's that's what this update really provides, llama gifting. But I think in terms of like, what can you individually see? Not too much. I'm not seeing any that poke out to me as amazing, but you might really love one of these designs. Like again, this, it, it looks vaguely similar. Um, actually, let's look at the bandit one again. As you can see, he's a Christmas bandit llama. Maybe that's your thing. I don't think so. It looks pretty similar, but still festive mashup pack. 
Maybe you'll like this in six months time, but for now, let's move on to the next one. It's the Greek mythology mashup pack. I think the ceiling's a bit broken, like the sky I should say. Everything's a little bit blue for some reason, they're broken, but that doesn't affect the llamas themselves, which we'll be looking at right now. If you're curious, there's like a weird bug of Minecraft console. It's taking me like three loads of Minecraft console, which time to load this up, but we must go on, even though we're half an hour in and only got like for like 10 texture packs. But let's continue and let's look at the white llama, the gold llama as it is now, and the brown llama. You know, I like the gold llama. I like that this one always turns gold. I think there's something magical about that. And I also like that they have different colored eyes, like he's got blue eyes, to match his gold hair. I, I don't even know, but let's look at the uh, 16 colors also. We've got um, like white over here, it seems. Not very white, if you ask me. Um, we've got, maybe that isn't white, but <laughs> it's really weird because a lot of these colors look very much the same, but it could be the texture pack thing. But yeah, if we look around, around at actually each of them, you can see how we got like vine llama over here, you know, covered in some vines. We got this really nice like cloak llama, like this is a llama that has seen some battles or something. Uh, then we've got over here, um, you know, like, uh, some pur purple llama. I, I basically the point is, is they're vaguely some like they're all wearing the same kind of cloak. I'm not seeing any that like fascinate me too much beyond that. Like I kind of like this one because he's got a little crown. Um, but yeah, besides that, most of them look pretty much the same. Oh, this one's great. Look at that. Okay, so I love this one. This is the uh, black cup again. Ignore how everything's broken. Look how much this changes things. It re it adds like a whole thing to him and like. This, it adds a helmet to the llama. Llama helmets confirmed with the Greek mythology mashup pack. So I think that's about most of what you're gonna be seeing here. Like you got a few of them that do that. Like look how, look at these. Like that's such an amazing thing to have on there. He's got a llama on his front too. What's what's going on with this? It's crazy stuff, but that's what you get in this. What, why do they have llamas on? I mean, why do they have lions on them? That's so confusing. Or maybe it's a griffin or something. But that's what you see in this uh, texture pack right here. I think it's pretty great actually, if you like your Greek mythology. But if you don't, then good news, we've got the Halloween mashup pack next. I had another series of crashes to get here, but we're here in the Halloween mashup pack, the spookiest mashup pack that does exist. Also texture pack. So yeah, the Halloween mashup pack, as we can probably expect, has slightly spookier colors of llamas. No need we have white, which is a ghost. Oh, it's ghost llamas, okay. Already sold on this. Ghost llamas, that's all. Oh, okay, went a bit weird there. But still, ghost llamas, that's all you need in the world to be happy. Even if they take you through walls. Fun little glitch there. But yeah, so we got ghost llamas. We've also got red hell llamas, it looks like. Kind of like hell horses. Also looking pretty good. And we've got the brown ones, which maybe have a pumpkin on their head. I can't tell because he's like through the wall here. But we've got brown llamas too, which are a little bit spooky as well. But most importantly, hell llamas, ghost llamas. That's all you need in the world. So yeah, I really like this. Uh, honestly, I think that makes like these uh, mounts a lot better too, because look at this, like this is a floating llama with like 3D glasses for some reason. I'm not sure why that exists, but I quite like it. Then we got, uh, we also got the like black llama, which is like a bit uh, rotten. But yeah, if you look around most of these, they're actually pretty, oh, if you look, they've got like really weird faces. But if you look more in the eyes, you've got some pretty good stuff going on here. So this is a pumpkin uh, texture, which I really do quite like. I think that's a pretty great one, uh, personally. Fits with Halloween too. We got IF Ender uh, one, it looks like. Or at least it's vaguely similar. Uh, we got like uh, a few interesting ones over here, but it mostly is all about the llamas themselves again, because when you have ghost llamas, that's gonna make any, you know, color a lot better. Whereas like, you know, just solid green with some white, like how is that spooky again? Oh, it's got a creeper on the front. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, but <laughs> you know, you look at most of these and it's just like, how does this fit with that? And then the, the truth answer is it doesn't really. I think these are mostly just like, oh yeah, a little bit spooky, like a ghost and stuff. Oh, that's brains. You, you can vaguely see them, I guess, when you go through them, but. Still, I'm not amazed by any of them on the surface. And maybe, maybe you know, you like the fact that it takes a bit more time to like truly appreciate what's going on with these. But personally, I just look at them and say, eh, I guess they're good. I, I like a lot of them. I like the brains, I like the pumpkin. Oh, there's two colors of brain. And I really love the ghost llamas. But most of them, again, it's got the same kind of thing where it's like, I mean, do I need a red or a white thing? Probably not in that particular way. So yeah, let's move on from this now to the next texture pack, which is the Halo Masher pack. So just a reminder, I only do the Xbox exclusive one because this is recorded on the Xbox one, not because I love Xbox or anything like that, but let's move on to the Halo mashup. So this is the Halo mashup pack and everything's gonna get a little bit Halo-y, one could assume. So we got three colors of llamas, as you can see, we got the red llama, a little bit of a weird face, we got the blue llama, and we got the cyan llama. I quite like that, you know, I, I like that they're all the same color llama, just with like a thing put on the by default, but it makes me question like, if these are the llamas themselves, they look like they have skins on already, how are the things gonna work? And the answer to that is very, very wackily it seems. Like, look at these things. They look like they're all going to a giant llama rave or something, and I guess I dig that like I, I, I would go to a llama rave But I'm still a little bit confused as to you know how this is all halo fitting But I guess maybe it just fits the style because as you can see most of the colors of the things actually just like you know Kind of cover up everything so this looks like it's just a solid purple block for instance um, And they all have it looks like they all also have uh, you know colors on the feet to go over the thing and then colors on the Around the neck too again It's a disco llama rave and you're all invited if you play the halo mashup pack So yeah, the four colors as you can see we've got some orange red uh, purple and some light 
light blue in there. So, or cyan, I think it is. So, yeah, this is the um, this is the Halo mashup pack. Pretty wacky stuff, uh, but is it going to be as wacky as the Mass Effect mashup pack? I highly doubt it. So, yeah, the Mass Effect mashup pack is known for just, like, misrepresenting blocks and making them all look wacky. What will it do with llamas? And I hope it's not too bad. Okay, so we're here in the Mass Effect mashup. So, as you can probably see already, things are a little bit strange. Llamas have gone from being llamas to being... Space llamas? Futuristic llamas? I'm not sure what these things are meant to be, but as you can see, it's got the same thing where they're all kind of wearing the same, like, you know, the actual colors of the llama, sorry about that, the actual colors of the llama uh, seem to be, just threw my phone away, um, <laughs> the colors of the llama seem to be, like, affected like they're wearing carpet on them, which is actually quite interesting. So we got white, we got yellow, we got red, and then presumably we've got another color, which is just solid black or, like, white too. It's, it's hard to be certain. But then we've also got 16 colors of carpet put on top of them, and because the carpet is based on the wool, and the wool is based on just weird stuff from them, you know, thing, we've got some very, very confusing designs going on here so <laughs> needless to say I don't think any of these are good but I think they're almost also questionable questionably confusing that maybe they just go bound around being good again like would you want to sit on a llama that looks like this Probably not, but maybe that's your thing, you know? Would you want to sit on a llama that looks like this? I mean, I mean, it's good, like a Mass Effect thing. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not too amazing, but again, maybe that's your perfect thing. It's good in a way because this is the mass, this is the texture pack we expect to ruin things, and I guess it did a good job at what it was trying to do. So let's move on next to the, um, I'm not actually sure what comes next. Here we have the natural texture pack, and the natural texture pack should make na llamas look natural, but does it? I think the easy answer to this question is, I guess so. I mean, I did see a llama very recently, and it did look a lot like this one, so maybe maybe that's proof that this is a natural text pack. But yeah, this is a natural text pack, and as you can see, looking pretty uh, kind of nice like that. You'd think, by the way, that because I've gone through these so many times for so many videos that I'd know the order, but it seems that I actually don't. We've also got grey llamas, kind of like those. Not sure if those are realistic, not sure if that's a real thing, but still, looks pretty good. Look at that smile, you've got to fall in love with that. So, as well as, uh, <laughs> as, well as having, uh, you know, the three colors, uh, four colors of llamas, we've got the 16 different patterns on them. I kind of like the patterns in natural. They're all kind of, after all the crazy ones we've seen, it's like, oh yeah, this just looks like a normal green pattern and a normal purple pattern. There's some good variety in here. Uh, I like that the bandit llama's still kind of the bandit llama, but like just with ears instead of the face. Uh, there's, there's some weird things going on here, and I think just in general, I'd recommend this texture pack because it does the natural job well. Like these look like, you know, like, blankets you would really put on a llama. I'm not sure why you put a blanket on a llama, but it looks like something you'd really do, and I guess that's kind of nice if you like the natural texture pack. A uh, little, little more natural than the city texture pack, that's for sure. So, yeah, let's move on next to the pattern texture pack, I believe. Again, I, I've done this so many times, but I, I should know better. But let's go now. So the pattern texture pack is pretty great because everything's got the cool little pattern on, and it seems like the llamas are no exception to crazy patterns, because we've got the rabbit llama, I like to call them, because I mean, he's a, it's a rabbit, right? That's, <laughs> maybe I haven't seen enough llamas, but it looks like a rabbit. We've got this one, which is covered in the weird, like, again, you could call them patterns, I guess. And then we've got the brown one, which looks like he was sewed together just yesterday. It, it's kind of a cool little thing. Uh, but yeah, we've got, like, rabbit llama things going on here. And then we've got the, uh, my favorite thing, I think, for this one. We've got the 16 different colors. So I think this uh, texture pack is the one to check out for, like, you know, weird patterns going on, because it's the pattern texture pack. But let's see if that is, in fact, true. So, <laughs> first of all, we've got this one, which is pretty wacky for like it's just covering loads of weird little bits and then we look at all of them actually you can see how like the llamas blend of the thing in a really weird way where it's just like information overload but i do quite like it regardless like <laughs> uh like I, I i think these are actually pretty good little things surprisingly undetailed i was expecting just an explosion but it seems like the llamas themselves are where all the you know color explosion went into and everything else is just like oh yeah that's just a thing we're doing right here so yeah i i guess i kind of like them all they're kind of bland but maybe maybe that's what you need when you've got too much information on the llama i'm not sure but this is uh, the 16 colors of llama in the pattern texture pack. Let's move on next to the Skyrim texture pack. So this is the plastic texture pack. Again, things have gone black. You know what, Minecraft Xbox One is just broken right now. It's taken an hour to go through this, but I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna show you every llama in every texture pack. And I think there's not much to show here because it looks like it's just default textures, but even more smoothed out. Because I guess that's what this texture always goes for. And then we got the Bandit Llama looking pretty much the same. Gryffindor, I think actually, I could be wrong here. I think these are exactly the same textures as default with just slight palette changes because again, that's the same creeper. That's the same thing. And I think that's actually what happened here. So this was a really fast one to show off. Let's move on to the Skyrim texture pack, which is now going to happen. Hopefully not glitchily. It's the Skyrim mashup pack, and although I don't remember any llamas in Skyrim, um, also I don't remember anything being blue, but Minecraft, <laughs> Minecraft Xbox One, just not really uh, a good place right now. But there, uh, as you can see, we've got three colors of llamas right here. We got, oh, they're, they're, they're goats, because they've got the horns on them. 
Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I guess I do recall seeing goats in uh, at least uh, Skyrim at some amount. Yeah, you can see you've got four colors of llamas. We got those three. Then we got the one over here. They're looking pretty interesting by themselves, and uh, the Skyrim music does make them seem a lot more epic. Makes you want to slay them. But we're not here to slay them today. We're here to look at their colors, which I'm not actually seeing too much going on with them. Like, I guess because they've got to blend into this like art style of Skyrim, they just don't stand out too much. You can't have like a bright pink one or anything. But it means that there isn't much variety between them. Like, they've all got the same color. You know, they're all kind of bland and blending in. But if you want to have a llama with a window on, so you can see into his soul, you've got one there. You want to have a llama with like, I guess like eye coverings. Then we've got the bandit llama still. But yeah, uh, this mashup pack doesn't really, I, I think for the most part, uh, this doesn't uh, prioritize llamas. So if you want to play the Skyrim mashup pack, then you can do it. But llamas are not the priority. So let's move on to the steampunk texture pack, which is one I'm looking forward to a lot because you know, steampunk llamas, what does that even mean? Let's find out now. Okay, so we're here. Okay, so we're here in the steampunk uh, texture pack. This uh, texture pack is quite interesting because everything has gears and cogs, even the trees. It's a bit confusing, but that's just what's going on here. And as you can see, the llamas seem to be no exception to confusing things because they wear glasses by default. You know, you like glasses llamas? Don't even have to tame them in this one. And honestly, if I had, if I didn't know that these were untamed llamas, I would be so sure they had carpet on them because it looks like they do already. But as you can see, I'm pressing Y, nothing's happening because they're not tamed llamas. So yeah, that's really confusing that they have coverings on by default. Uh, look, this is this is literally a mechanical llama. So mechanical llama is pretty great. What happens when we put the patterns on them? So as you can see, uh, it doesn't actually. I actually quite like these quite a bit because this. Look how fancy this saddle is. This is like those really you know fancy chairs you see at least in England. Uh, it, you know for some reason this is just the most comfortable llama in the world. I'm sure covered in gears too because why not? Um, you know this one over here is just a e even more robotic llama. So you know brown is the color. Is that brown? No, it's yellow. <laughs> yellow is the color for uh, robotic llamas it seems. And I think it's kind of great that they all have like so many r r weird things going on with them. And uh, they all kind of blend in with the like, oh yeah, these llamas are robots, but they're steampunk robot things. It's confusing, but you get that quite a bit from this texture pack. So this one has a clock on its front, for instance. I like it. I like it a lot. This one has a red button, like a weak point. And uh, yeah, basically my point being here is llamas are always going to spin at me, of course. Um, <laughs> llamas are pretty great, as it so turns out. And I would totally recommend that, uh, you know, you, you try them out in different texture packs. I think the city one, still probably my favorite, because like car llamas... How can you beat that? But uh, all these other ones have been pretty fun to check out, and this video has been fun to record. It took well over an hour to do, because my Minecraft crashed more than every other time. Uh, but I, I, I enjoyed doing this, I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Again, let me know if you want to see like this for another mob, or for all of the new blocks or something like that, because I will maybe do that in the future. But for now, 300 llamas in Minecraft, like them if you liked it, share if you liked it, subscribe if you're around here, and hit the bell so you can see notifications whenever I upload and do a live stream. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later today for a live stream. Bye.